Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Today we are going to be playing Monster Camp, the sequel to Monster Prom. Um, so how long do we want to play, Michelle? 45 hour, 90 minutes? Uh, <laughs> I thought you said 45 hours. 45 um, hours. Let's do an hour. All right. Ah, oh, Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible. The sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. I've never seen that word written out. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. So who am I gonna? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna play who I played last time. Oh, you're always Shadow Man. Uh. I thought I could be the. Oh, I guess the computer guy's. DLC maybe. No, he's probably gonna be um someone you could woo. Oh. <laughs> ah. Which I I I can do this. Hope. I guess. Oh. Who am I? Who are you? Mm. <laughs> Asta, obviously. Spaghetti. Uh, I'll leave the McGriffin EP for you. Uh, wood carving. Huh, a uh, hipster costume. Oh, you get your own! I could have gotten the EP then. Damn it. Dragon Heat! Oh I mean... god. Sketchbook with a very clearly a pinup drawing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 50 pounds of crosswords. <laughs> that would have been you! Yeah, I know. Oh, should it be... In the hipster costume would have been you, let's be fair. Um... I mean, tarot cards are, is there. Did you just... <laughs> oh, no. It's one might say... Good. One might say the monster problem had hardened us on the highs and lows of life. Yeah, I didn't Love, get... A, I'm not, not sure life. if you remember. I didn't... What? It, you said life. It says love for me. Oh, it, yeah. Um... <laughs> If you don't remember, I didn't get a prom date last year. <laughs> but no, in love, we're always absolute beginners. What are you eating? And summer camp was no different. <laughs> no one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our monster heads. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay. Close, <laughs> close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jo... Jo... jo Johima? Jojima. It, it could be Johima. Um, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world. Uh, Eravi Mishra. A hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Uh, Michelle's date. Cal <laughs> Calculester. Cal uh, calcu calculator HP. A library oh computer 
<laughs> yeah, become a robot right? ready to experience life to its fullest. Oh my god, I love him. Uh, somehow the youngest so far, even though looks like the oldest, Dahlia Aquino, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering Summer next. We all know Damien. I think that is that who you went after last it's the year. Same Damien. Yeah. And and Milo Belladonna, a death reaper, doubling as internet influencer. Who is profoundly in love with life and earthly pleasures. My ghost girl's not here this year. I'm gonna have to pick someone else. The bus trip was long and all of the summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. So it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Um, okay, which of these would be favorite food? A punch to the face? A yummy USB, mmm. <laughs> Um, whatever gives you the best stats. Oh my god. <laughs> the nicest guac. Uh, I, you know what to pick if you want your robot boyfriend. <laughs> I'm apparently going after Aubrey. Old snacks a lot here will eat anything and everything that even looks like a bagel, but only to fuel my body. Uh, all right. See what I put up with? Yeah, I know. at least you understand me. All right. <laughs> you read it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, TZ, I didn't know you also had craving for USB something or other. <laughs> How does that work exactly for an organic-based life form like yourself? Do you download the data manually? Do you literally consume the USB like you would any other food? <laughs> that sounds a bit unhealthy, but I'm no expert at organic anatomy, so I am probably incorrect. On that note... Would you like to share this cache of USB files with me? I brought enough to the bus to share. <laughs> we only yes. had three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. At, at, because that's when you're unafraid when you're young. And we were ready to start. Let's do a So far, so good. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I'm going after a person that is possessed by things. Apparently possessed by a nerd. <laughs> so we have a dome, dimmy dome, dumb dimmy dome, a lock, the woods, uh, HQ, manor, and I have no idea what these perks go for or what perks I'm looking for, but I'm lacking in fun. Oh! If you go over it, it shows you. Um, is this fun? I think that's fun. I'm gonna go for fun. Oh wait, does it show what? Oh, that's your stats, okay. That day in the haunted manor, a little clown man rides a tricycle up to you and asks if you would like to play a game. <laughs> Cool, you love games. You suggest Monopoly or Scattergories. <laughs> the clown man tells you to find the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all your skin off. You're not super into that idea, so you two decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving some puzzles together. Oh my god. A lot of fun, but you don't gain fun there. You gain two boldness instead. Well, that is... Oh my god. Not the fun that I was looking for. You stumble upon Aubrey. Surrounded by an odd-looking group, an orc with a loot, strung on across its back, an elf with a bow, a haggard dwarven cleric, and some other cliches. Also odd is that Aubrey is repeatedly hitting herself in the head. It takes you a moment to realize that she's calling for Hex to come out. Loser. Where'd you disappear to? It was in your ribcage, seeing if I could use it to cut strips of crepe paper into confetti. Then I got lost in your kidneys. Okay, whatever. I gathered this group of valiant heroes, each with their own skill set, quirky personality, and dark backstory. What? Why? Why? You asked me to. You said organize a party. Honest. Uh. 
<laughs> Honestly, I've never liked you more than I did it in that moment. Uh, when I... Adventure! Adventure! <laughs> Uh, when I realized you were taking an interest in the things that I enjoy, that you were getting exactly to raid a dungeon. Mm. Raid a dungeon? No! Avery, when I said party, I'm party like pizza and confetti and music and drinks and games. Could you just have normal fun? Ugh. I feel like we never truly understand each other. I once no, this is the rest of your trophy friends. I was really trying to bond. I mean, we're already bonded in that you're a curse that's attached itself to me, but I'm a spiritual guy. Oh, my face hurts. Uh, all right, Avery seems genuinely disappointed and you can't have that. Time to turn this party into a party party. So Hex will be happy and Avery will also be happy. In a moment of genius, you realize exactly what party member would make the perfect party goer. Are you? Okay, so there's the necromancer. Uh, this powerful baker. If he can raise the dead, he can surely raise a cake. Or the bard. I'm gonna go with a bard. <laughs> this is going to backfire on me. Oh, no. But I'm going with the bard. This will be fun. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Not the bard. anyone but the bard. Oh, no. Did someone order a bar? I'm just gonna not. Welcome to our yearly. I don't get a date. <laughs> uh, what did we expect to see you summoning me? How come never come me in bitches anymore? You lost my number or something? I'm not carrying you. Now I am the one who is sorry. Oh no! I should not have summoned the bard. He's playing Wonderwall. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh God! It's one of those kinds of bards. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, soon it becomes abundantly clear. Once he pulled out his lute, it's all over. He plays the song after song, butchering American Pie on the flute. I'm yours on the harpsichord and Freebird on the xylophone. The entire world. <laughs> By his terrible one-man concert, with encore after encore, and no way to politely leave or shift the party back to, you know, actual party things. This drama's a song, you're the liar bar. <laughs> drama. <laughs> song that slaps. Because you're singing, it's more fun and, and adventuring, and we're tired of checking for traps. Okay, piano man. And she leaves. Later, and it was all my fault. It's a horrible party. Minus three fun. I have zero funds. Zap, zap. <laughs> Let's go. I Where need some I? funds. I I'm just gonna go with the flow. I wanna go to the woods. You hike deep into the woods and find a mysterious journal with a number three on it, half bur buried in the dirt. Inside is tons of information on local monsters and how to defeat them. It covers gnomes, psychic, psychics, yep. uh, time travelers, <laughs> Illuminati shaped demons. What a boring journal. Where's the drama? Where's the inner thoughts and insecurities? Of, uh, insecurities. Do you get what this is referencing? It was referencing um, Gravity Falls. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoever wrote this journal knew nothing about how journals work. <laughs> you gain no fun from this, but you surely get plus two smarts. Boring. I mean, the computer guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a gang. Uh, you're hiking through the woods with your friends. It's a party. You, I'm still there. Uh, you inevitably get lost again. Honestly, why do you even keep leaving camp? How are you not We're dead yet? We're fucking lost. Dead. Fuck, guys, this is it. We're gonna die out here in the boring-ass wilderness where there aren't any even wild filet mignons to eat. Adventure awaits. Uh, bye. Do you want to do her since you're... Sure. <clears throat> Let me massage my face for a second. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Calm down, idiot. I can find food easily. I can't promise you filet mignon, but if we find an animal or a slime and beat the shit out of it, it might drop a whole roasted chicken. 
This is really, that is your type of girl, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> Listen, you married me. <laughs> I did marry you. You are possessed. That is true. That is true. <laughs> possessed by a two stew. We don't have that kind of time. The only solution is cutting off our arms and eating them. What? That's a terrible idea. I need both of my arms for punching <laughs> things. What? You think I don't? It's a sacrifice we all have to make. If you just cut off your non-dominant arm, it won't be as bad. <sighs> Friend Damien, though I have no need for calories <laughs> or dismemberment, I will also cut off my arm in solidarity. Heart Friend face. Aaron. Noob. <laughs> <laughs> Friend Aaron. See? <sighs> just say calculator. I'm just gonna call him calculator. Calculator's not scared. So why are you, Slayer? <laughs> You aren't finding roasted chickens. You are a roasted chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's it. No. No, you're in the rest. Just fuck you. <laughs> okay. Just fuck you. <laughs> no, thanks. I don't have any arms. Just hands. Because th that's how I'm... Okay. I think I'll just Bagels. eat this bagel. You do you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even going to read this correctly. <laughs> Arab Aravi, that's her name, right? Has pulled out a great axe and great cutting board <laughs> and already has her arm on the literal chopping block. You're about to stop her when you hear Pizza the doorbell delivery. ring. What the fuck? Pizza delivery for hmm. Is this a butcher shop or something? Damn it, I'm Please. lost again. Fellow organic life forms. Did you hear that voice? I did. Nice. How coincidental. We are also lost. There's Where no are you I. trying to go, friend stranger? Uh, uh Wolfram and Hart Lawfer? <laughs> not sure which tree I took a wrong turn at, but I'm definitely not in the right spot, huh? Hmm, I think. <gasps> Cal, Aravi, team meeting now! Let's do this Damien style. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, now that we're all discreetly huddled up away from the pizza girl, here's the plan. We need to convince her that this Wolfram and Hart that this is Wolfram and Hart, so she gives us a pizza. Here for it. Bold move, Hex. Like, you got Moxie Kid. Server error. <laughs> we can't, friend Damien, lying and stealing are wrong. You are doing both at once. That makes this wrong by a factor of two. <laughs> <laughs> calculator, calculator, calculator. You don't understand. Remember that circle of life chart I drew up for you? Look here, it says clearly that Damien's are a natural predator of pizzas. <laughs> it's all part of nature for Damien's to use their cunning and metal... Uh, metalness to prey yeah. on any pizza the they Nature see. Module.exe <laughs> This is... This is yep. a lot. <laughs> oh god, I did <laughs> Alright, time for you to make your choice, Michelle. Damien's and Teezy's have a symbiotic relationship. They hunt and I eat. Wow. Uh, so what's it gonna be, Teezy? I'm glad to know I provide for you, asshole. Let's see. Move the wolf and the ram together. Put them in suits. Add glasses in a fancy suitcase. That's what I will frame and heart love for or sue her. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? What's what's what you picking? Am I playing as myself? <laughs> you <laughs> I'm want to sue her? All right. Okay, so like I know this was an amazing idea, but are you guys sure we can actually sue her? The only times I've been to court, I was in the defendant's Calculus chair. Worry not, my friend. I was friend Vera's aide in her questionably legal law firm last semester. I have memorized the proper procedures for falsely accusing a defendant. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, and I watch like a fuck ton of procedural law TV shows, so I just got all the lingo down. This will be easy breezy lemon squeezy. That was not in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, watch this. <laughs> Miss Pizza Delivery Girl, is it? 
Okay. Uh, we here at Wolfram and Hart present you with a subpoena to bring your company, Coco's Pizza, to a court of law. See you in court, sucker. Yeah, get sued, noob. It's like a game over, but for your life or something. Aw, oh, shit. You dudes are suing Coco's. This has never happened My before. My thoughts and opinions do not reflect In Coco's the woods pizza. specifically, so. it happens other places all the time. So, uh, see you in court, I guess. <laughs> the date is set, and a few days later, you and your friends roll up to court ready to chew gum and snack gamels. We're literally in court. We literally took them to court. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Also, she is dressed up in Phoenix Wright, uh, the whip girl oh, costume. God. I forget her name. Alright. Oh, all right. I didn't yeah. realize. I didn't realize. Alright, ladies and gentle persons of the jury, we of Wolfman and Hart legal team move to indict the defendants as guilty of... Objection! <laughs> he said it for uh. me. Perfect. <laughs> Don't object to us, Damien. You're on our side. This is Phoenix, right? <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. But the bailiff made me swear on a Bible that I would be- that I would tell the truth. That's an affront to my <sighs> culture. Ah, uh, because you are a demon, correct? What a noob! No, because telling the truth is for nerds. Take that! <sighs> <sighs> Your Honor, I can no longer represent my fellow lawyer in this matter. <gasps> but you are not representing Damien, friend Hex. You, Your Honor, I would like to motion for an insanity plea for my team. <laughs> the whole team! They're not even the guilty one! Ugh, I can't carry you this You foolish, one. foolish... Foolishly foolish fool, you're showing us inexperience. Yeah, fuck. Fuck hell. <laughs> you're showing our inexperience. Your honor, the entire legal team pleads the fifth. Jesus Christ. This is a shit show. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> previous lawsuits already prove that Coco's Pizza has more OSHA violations than a Mortal Kombat arena, so they were found guilty before you even got there. <laughs> the pizza parlor sends to comp. Uh, you with the pizza that was supposed to be delivered to Wolf Ram and Heart. Cool. You all eat it. It's kind of cold now, but that's okay because it tastes like victory. You also win plus two boldness. This is five days bug. later. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is already a lot. Yeah, that was the first. <laughs> oh, challenge time. We're not even done with the first day yet. Everybody Holy choose a fictional Christ. character. Say your choice out loud. Uh. Out loud, oat the other player before clicking. To the other player before clicking. Whoops. Is that a typo? <laughs> I guess. Oh no. Um, um so. Mickey Mouse. So before. Uh. Uh. Thanos. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Player Wait. orders decided on which character TZ is the most similar to. So, are well, you more similar to- me. It has to be me, uh, Mickey Mouse, right? Well, would you not, uh, kill half the world to save the people? It's not saying almost similar to. Shit. Uh, would you not- <laughs> I'm giving that in to the, you because it's funny. Would you not in the comic do that just to impress, impress uh, the Grim Reaper? Possibly. Because you want a boner? Because I want to bone her or because I want a bone? Can I take a minute to think? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I got coolness last time but did not get fun. Uh, so I'm guessing that- Okay, if that's- so that's boldness, that's smarts, creativity. One of those is charm and the other is fun. I'm gonna assume laughing is fun. I need some fun. You want to go swimming, but it seems like the god of the lake is in a bit of a mood today. 
demands offering before you can get in the water. The only thing you have to give it is your favorite yo-yo, which you were playing with on the way here. The God of the Lake accepts your humble gift, and is actually kind of relieved you didn't leave something boring like a dead fish with the soul of a mortal. Also, I am super loud and I apologize. <laughs> I have the mic right in front of my face. So in addition to gaining access to the lake, you get plus two fun. Uh, Alright, you already knew uh, Aravi was loaded with bravery, determination, and chutzpah. But as she roots through her bag, it's clear she's also loaded with some pretty sick beautiful. items as well. Why are my battle axes plus one through plus two hundred all out of order? I got bored while you were sleeping and arranged them by color. Ravi rolls her eyes and drops. Michelle, your keyboard's pretty loud. Ravi rolls her eyes and drops all the battle axes on the ground to be sorted later. Mm. Oh, here's that Alexandria's cursed emerald diadem. I found that in a dungeon. May I just say it's very cool. I'm, I'm very cool about not being only the only curse in your life. Ugh, I can speak. Uh, Miss Mersh Mishra, how dare you litter on the hollowed grounds of Camp Spooky? I'm not littering, Camp Director Miss Weaving. I was just looking through my bag for... I like her hair. It's a spider. <laughs> it's a spider. Uh, you're telling me all these items were in that one small bag? Likely story. And what is this bottle of booze? <laughs> 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 this is to me, though, right? That's not booze, that's <laughs> my therapist. I am this person. Uh, then you need a second therapist to help you deal with the fact that you keep your first therapist trapped in a bottle. If that were true, which is obviously not. I can prove it. Uh, let's see exactly what kind of spirits are in here. If it's Miss Chase Toilet Wine again, I swear. The hell are you? <laughs> that is not a monster. That's just a, okay. Uh, Camp director Miss Weave. Oh, it's a fairy in a bottle, like Legend of Zelda. Camp director Miss Weaving raises an interesting point about keeping me in a bottle. Aravi, do you think feeling the need to keep phys people physically tied to you because of your brother Salas's disappearance? So you didn't sneak booze in, you snuck a pet into camp. That's even worse. I'm confiscating it immediately. Feelings. That's worse. <laughs> she's, she's not a pet. <laughs> she's not a pet, she's, she's my... my... <laughs> I'm gonna have you start reading these lines. Uh, uh, and I'll prove it by showing how calm and level-headed therapy has made me. I've been working so hard at therapy and I'm getting so good at therapy. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but therapy isn't something you get good at. No, I'm slaying therapy. I'm going to prove it by, by Chase. How am I going to prove it? How good at therapy is Miss Weaving gives Nora back? Holy shit. Okay, uh, you've done dream interpretation in therapy, right? Demonstrate analyzing the shit out of a dream. Or this may not be spooky high, but you can still ace a test. The ultimate test. The Rorschach test. Oh god. What? Both of these sound like poor answers. Both are bad. I don't have any opinion. But the both. first one... The first one is me. Like, that's my vibe, so that's what I would do. But the Rorschach is hilarious. Because <laughs> you can't win or lose a Rorschach test. Yeah, you also can't win or lose a dream interpretation. Uh, uh, can suck at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh hell yeah! Rorschachs are the tests of therapy, and tests are like the final bosses of school. Holy That's shit. what. what? <laughs> <laughs> you know that amazing feeling you get when you clear an area and you get to see your percent percent completion, and you know you've destroyed all your enemies, <laughs> and then you get to move on to the next mm. thing. Why do you feel the need to measure everything in percentages and accomplishments? The real dungeon is within yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's beneficial to consider that some journeys in life may have inherent value just by going on them, without focusing on some end goal. We are totally winning our lane. 
Uh huh, uh huh, sure. Tell it to the letter grade system and game unlocks. First act time, baby! She was made for you. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't need to be told twice, you immediately hold up the first picture. Uh, it looks like me on some kind of flume. Uh, hold up the hmm. next picture. Uh, it looks like a sheet with two holes cut in it, being worn as a ghost disguise by a cheese-shaped figure. Which is funny, because aren't I already, like, a ghost? <laughs> I'm something. I'm no, I'm, I'm not a good. What am I? A demon? Not a demon. Shadow monster? You're basically a shadow? Okay. Uh, Chase releasing an eldritch deity on a, from its totem and taking a dead body to prom. Oh, shit. What a fierce adversary. Uh, <laughs> which is funny because I didn't have anyone last year to prom. That one is very clearly chased with a chopper curl full of guacamole marbles and a penguin mask. Uh, you do realize that I'm just holding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I am describing them perfectly, or what? <laughs> Are you okay? In canon, you were uh -huh. just holding up pictures of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, Aravi, surely you must understand that this isn't a legitimate Rorschach test. Oh, a critical hit. A cigar shack test consists of looking at pictures and accurately describing what you see. I'm doing that. Therefore, I crushed it. Right? Right? Everyone tell me how good I am at the test and therefore therapy and therefore life. Right? Oh my god. Uh, you know what, Miss Mer <laughs> Mishra? I keep wanting to say Mersha. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and restore possession of your bottle therapist onto you. You clearly have some things to work through. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Oh, she's flirting with me. Alright, I got two charm and a boldness. I got a lot of boldness, and something tells me this character needs a lot of boldness. Yes. It's my turn. It's your turn. Do I get to go to Scout HQ? We haven't been there yet. We haven't been to the arena either. These are both true things. I'm going to Oh, look. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you spend the day learning new skills with the monster scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for healing a wound only using the bark of a tree. You earn a badge for writing poems in iambic pentameter. Oh, God. You earn a badge for building a black... <laughs> a blackberry. Uh, like of a phone, using yeah. only real blackberries. Yeah. Nice! Completing all of those unexpected and probably useless lessons earned you plus your creativity. Just like art <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, listen. You're not wrong. <laughs> Literally everything that I needed to learn, we skipped over in like a day. In all of my entire college experience. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Later, you meet up with the calculator, so he can teach you to count in binary. You're just, ooh, you're just getting to some of the more sensual numbers. When? Is this nature that I'm what the fuck is that? Not, not Counselor Flodge. I think it might be Counselor <laughs> Flodge. Okay. Uh, what is this? A box. Capable of self locomotion, but what could be inside? Using basic logic, we can rule out a few obvious incorrect guesses. An elephant, tractor, or aircraft carrier would not fit inside of a, a box of this size. You suggest that the box might contain Counselor Flodge, the camp's self proclaimed camouflage instructor. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see how you might mistake. <laughs> Make that mistake, TZ, but the box clearly says, not Counselor Flodge on it. <laughs> Boxes do not have the mental capacity to tell lies. Thus, we must take it at its word. Perhaps Karen it is. Haha, -ha, another flawless disguise courtesy of the D-Master. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> that D is for disguise, and I'm now required by law to say that. <laughs> Counselor Plot, the one person I was certain could not be inside the box. How did you? I do think it? this computer person was made for you. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Easy, a true master of disguise. <laughs> A true master of disguise blends into his surroundings. My surroundings were a cardboard box. Your advice is as brilliant as it is simple, Counselor Flodge. Might I ask your opinion on another disguise-related issue? Now you see me. Of now course, Cal. Don't. I'm here to help. If I am even here at all. <laughs> Excellent. For the entirety of my synthetic life, I have attempted to blend in with the organics around me. <laughs> However, my attempts, sad face, oh, my attempts have consistently met with limited success. Do you have any tips for appearing more authentically alive? Oh, that's easy. All you need is a big trench coat and some brooms for hands. <laughs> Works every time. I tried that. It did not work. Hmm. Ha did you try wearing a fedora to go with it? No. I wore a trilby. <laughs> <laughs> That's an even more organic hat. I must say I'm stumped. Still, there must be something we could try. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Counselor Flodge may not know how to properly disguise a computer, but you've got this in the bag. You chime in. There's a theory that all humans are within six degrees of s- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. Six degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon? Yeah. Just get as close to him as possible. You just need to pass the Turing test. I'll be your tutor. I'm an old pro at being organic. Oh. I'm gonna do this one. Alright. Uh, yes, the Turing test. Normally, I am quite good at standardized tests, but this one continues to elude me. Sad face. It is even harder than the CAPTCHA test, <laughs> and that one requires knowing which images contain bridges. Stealth mode! <laughs> A test, no sweat. Just do what I always do and disguise yourself as the answer key to the test. Thank you, Counselor Flodge, but I am not sure that is physically possible. I am going to try studying with TZ. I have never had a tutor before. Hell Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I'm tutoring the robot. Oh. <laughs> you and Calculator find a secluded part of camp in which to study for the test. <laughs> So, for question number one, are you a robot? The an right answer is yes, correct. Oh boy, you're in for a long day. You spend the next several hours teaching Calculester uh, how to have loud opinions about classic cartoons, react bo badly to out-of-context tweets, <laughs> and drug text his eggs! That noise that he made just now. <laughs> that was now. an R2-D2 yell. Holy shit. Goodness, I had no idea being a human was so uncomfortable and sad. That one got ya. I'm no longer sure I want to be one. <laughs> That's the spirit you tell him. The most human thing of all is to not want to be one. I love this game. <laughs> oh god, this Accurate. is too much. This oh. is just day two, baby. <laughs> Excellent. Then I think I'm ready. I will remember to bubble in the answers with my hands. And that the question about my charging time is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> You're so proud of your role. Your big robot boy. The two of you head down to the testing center. You even take the test alongside him for solidarity. <laughs> you have to remind Calculester not to act so interested. During the one hour of administrative preamble that <laughs> precedes the test, but other than that, he does great. I did it, TZ. I finally passed oh, no. the Turing test. 
I never knew lying could feel so good. This must be why organics do it so much. He oh, gave no. me a heart face. <laughs> you can say that again. As for you, your test results tell you that you're a robot lover. Ooh, you gained plus two fun in one smart. <laughs> good job. Holy shit. All right, let's trade places. Everybody choose a celebrity. Say your choice out loud. Let's pick a celebrity. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Holy shit. I would argue for Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> I need to step up my game. Uh, where to sit? Uh, uh, okay. So I've got two. There's a Mothman. There's a Mothman. Mothman. Um, Mothman. Mothman. <laughs> So I, I got two choices here. I could sit by the person I want to sit by, or I could sit by the computer and talk good about you. Oh, we could do that. We could like trade. What do you want to do? Talk good about me and I'll talk good about you. Okay. So Dahlia and Calculester sitting together. Dahlia is showing Calculester all of her monster scout badges, pulling them out one by one as their priceless oh, treasures. I this one's my brownie selling badge. I got it by selling the most brownies out of all of Monster Scouts. Oh, am I doing this? Okay. <laughs> That's lovely, Dahlia. What was your entrepreneurial success strategy for selling the brownies? Uh, actually, Polly helped me with this one. She said it. She added a secret ingredient to the batter. Whatever it was, people bought it by the buttload. It was heroin. No. No, it didn't say that! <laughs> oh, I see. Got tons more. This is my Brusher T3 Times badge. And here's my Shower Every Day badge and my K Beauty Skincare Queen badge. Is this a All of. <laughs> Are all of the Monster Scout badges predicted on completing basic organic hygiene? Not always. Here's my repurposed entire skeleton badge. I got that by turning a human skull into a cereal bowl, his spine into a walking stick, and I used his ribs to make a cool xylophone. I love necro arts and crafts. Ah, uh, and was the human already dead when this happened error <laughs> well duh he was actually a twofer i got his skeleton by completing the rob a grave before the funeral oh, is shit. over badge coach was super proud of me and i think the widow took it pretty well what? Get some badges. i have a lot of badges already but there is still um so many more to achieve but dahlia aquino never gives up i've got to earn them all um, friend Dahlia, I am appreciative that you have thought to share this very important thing with me. Of course, buddy. What are friends for? Quite. However, I cannot help but feel a bit conflicted over your desire to earn them all. It seems that many of the Monster Scout badges are morally dubious. What? That's blasphemy. The Monster Scouts are an esteemed organization of plucky young monsters who want to achieve and do good. So you say, but Oof. I fail to see how badges like the turn a kindergarten class into a police state badge help you achieve and do good. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Uh. Have you ever been to a kindergarten classroom before? This little snot ants have no order or sense of duty. A police state would vastly... I don't like this character anymore. Oh. It's been a great reminder to never let Dahlia get into childcare. But in the meantime, which of your friends are you going back in... Going to back in this Monster Scout debate? Uh... Oh! Oh no, I got computer love. Uh oh. Uh. I can't believe that's a legitimate badge. Shit. Why does it 
even exist. It seems a bit counterintuitive. You should have gone down. for the person I wanted to go for. Come down, just go. No, and you're not gonna be able. You're not gonna be stop. able to go just for the. Just stop. Cease. Though perhaps the <laughs> Monster Scout organization isn't so bad. If it's open-minded enough to invite its followers to think critically about the system. Yes, I see now this invitation for introspection allows Monster Scouts room for growth and judgment. How nice. By this metric, the Monster Scout organization is actually more ethically advanced than several world governments. No. I gotta get out of the bed. Who cares about that? The world is falling apart. You're right, Cal. You were always right. Are Monster Scout badges really worth anything if they just betray my mindless blind faith like this? Hmm, but can you really blame the badges for your faith in them being compromised? Of course I can, maybe. I don't know. Nothing has meaning anymore. Oh god, it's him. Uh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Great job, Dolly. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, coach, go away. I can't let you see me like this. Questioning authority. Doubting Monster Scout propaganda. It's not who I really am, I swear. <laughs> it's okay. Critical thought, openness to questioning. Everything. Embracing the confusing aspects of reality and existential, existential dread. Those are all aspects that every Monster Scout, the Monster Scout should master. I'm proud to award you with your Questioning the Monster Scout Badge of System Integrity Badge. <laughs> but I... Sorry kids, I gotta go. I walked out on my oh. colonoscopy for this. <laughs> I walked out on it. Mid-procedure. Stay, Stay in school. school. Not I'm not sure if I want this badge or any of the badges. I think I did hide out. I am happy. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Wait! Uh, it's fine. I would give you a badge for that if I had any. Perhaps instead I could reward you with a soft collision of our bodies? A in <laughs> by our arms! I believe you organics call it a hug. Oh. Uh, it's not way better. Oh, oh no. Jesus Christ. Oh Wait, no. I'm sorry, Michelle. I guess I'll go after your lady. <laughs> no! You I wasn't. I was trying to help. Shush, in her trusty notebook, Damien is peeking not so inconspicuously at her from behind a big rock that's right next to her face. Uh, Damien, stop trying to peek. I told you to go away. You need to learn from the pros. How do you know I'm here? I can't see you, and that means you can't see me either. I'm invisible. Do you not understand object permanence or something? Object what? Sounds like nerd shit. Wait, I'm still talking like a robot. Can I just read your fucking notebook already? I don't want to talk about my feelings. <laughs> I said no, it's private. But you let Hex read it? I do not let Hex do anything. Hex wreaks chaos wherever they see fit. And I just kind of have to roll with it. It is definitely too stew. Right you are, girl. Speaking of which, I'm bored. Seems like a good time for an unhappy, embarrassing accident curse. Just then, a totally unrelated gust of wind blows through and rips the notebook out of Robbie's hands. It falls open on the ground and reveals a bunch of doodles of a buff leather Chad girl stabbing a whippy looking red stick figure. Huh? Are these plans to murder me? You said this was your therapy journal. <laughs> it is. I find these drawings to be very therapeutic. But they aren't murder plans, they're ancient hieroglyphs that I've been studying. X, tell him. Sorry, I zoned out. Did Damien see the murder plans yet? <laughs> I said they weren't murder plans. Everybody leave me alone. <laughs> Arabi could easily deny this for fucking ever. She has advantage on, deceptive, on deception checks. You need to settle this argument. Are they murder plans or not? I will give you my last everything big enough until this where Arabi is totally trying to kill you. Chill, Damon. What's a little murder between friends? Look, I've actually had a murder notebook dedicated to Arabi this whole time. I'm doing that one. Oh, You're stealing my girl. <laughs> stealing you do? You really want to murder me? I don't know what to say. 
She is- I'm still stand her. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no way, violence and murderous intent is my and Aravi's thing. Ooh, I smell a murder triangle. This is better than the bat color. <laughs> you whip out your Aravi murder notebook. She pages through it slowly, her eyes sparkling. Oh, what a fierce this is so adversary. detailed. You've correctly listed all of the poisons I'm weak to. My favorite romantic locales to be caught unarmed and unaware. You've even drawn cute chibi art of us knife fighting each other. But you must really care a lot about murdering me. Mm. So, TZ is way overthinking their approach. Dunn and Howie just meet up for a night, put a bullet in each other's heads, and ghost each other, literally, because we're dead. <laughs> Have you no honor? Clearly, TZ is a respectful assassin, <laughs> unlike you. Holy fuck. Such big stats. <laughs> Oh shit, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they know how important it is to use proper protection when murdering. They at least have the decency to know me before putting a hit on me. <laughs> like to see you put your money where your mouth is, TZ. I doubt you can murder me, but you can surely try. She cackles and writes <laughs> off, probably to plot some attacks on you. You can't believe you just got murder consent from Aravi. That's the most consent she's ever given you, Score. You know what? I don't I don't mind you picking that one. I don't mind mind oh, that man. one being put on Holy you. Shit. There's a cat wizard. Hello, this is you. I'm the cat wizard? No, you're playing right now. Oh, uh ah, welcome, welcome. You you new here? Don't fret. Let me explain how this works. I will prepare you a drink. The drink of the day. You may choose to drink that one, but if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be mysterious. Oh my God. And these drinks... Look, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I'm a wizard in training. For you to test my concoction is somewhere between kind and reckless. So get ready and good luck. All right, quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? Uh, so what is sangria? It has a heart in it. I'm gonna go with the mystery box. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> The mystery box, what? so bold of you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. No refunds. What the Oh, and fuck you is that? get the perfect a drink for you. Sex on the beach. No idea if I got this recipe right. Oh no, you're this guy now, officially. No idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? Otherwise you'll have the mystery box. Yeah, no totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed! Your prize is the drink you chose. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, sex on the beach. I brought this drink to the next level, as you can see. Give it a try, I assure you, it will be a fun ride. So you're gonna gain some fun. <laughs> Holy crap, you got a ton of fun. Bone hurting oh, juice. Jesus. I have no. such good stats. Not to the bone hurting juice. What have you done? Now all your bones will hurt. It's right in the bottle, you dumb dumb. <laughs> uh, now I'm just, I'm turning my character into me now. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> stats. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I'm sorry, Chase. <laughs> um, uh, Sloth. Everybody choose an animal so you're... Cat! <laughs> oh god. I uh... was trying to be even do one that would get you first. It's you. You're the one choosing things. Uh... I think you'd win this Yeah, I, w I mean, if you were raised by a cat, sure, you'd be, like, not ever taking baths and, like, knocking shit over. 
But you would also still, like, have a decent understanding of, like, society. Whereas Sloth, you're just moving slow in, like, a one-mile radius all the time. Exactly. Did you choose it? No, I'm... Is it going? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. We already right, decided we... it. Like, that's just by default. Okay, so it be better. <laughs> okay. You, always... you could just always go first if you want. <laughs> At this rate. Uh, it's starting to rain. We're enjoying the lake and gaining fun. Cause I still need fun. I need everything now, but we still most need fun. Uh, we got electrocuted, sun shining. We got some fun. <sighs> okay, after that, you head to the lake with Hex and Aravi. After after being at the lake, you head to the lake. Uh, Aravi testing out her new Zora armor, and you're helping Hex chug as much lake water as possible. Big stats. This is so awesome, you guys. I can breathe underwater and do a whirlpool attack. Gods. I'm so glad I spent 200 million rupees on these greaves. Glug, 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 glug. Sorry, my mouth was full of lake water. I was trying to say, fuck yeah, this is fun as shit. Lake time with Chase. Fucking classic vibes. Suddenly, y'all hear a weird voice calling out to you from across the lake. Hail, adventurers! Hear my message! Look over to see a messenger emerging from the trees, holding out a leather scroll. I really shouldn't have picked Bard earlier. And he looks super stressed yeah. out. <laughs> huh, that messenger looks familiar. I swear I recognize him. Maybe someone I cursed in the past? Adventurer Aravi. Adventurer Hex. Adventurer Chase. I've searched for many moons to pant pant. Deliver cough pant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got an important message for us. Life or death. Blah, blah, blah. We know the deal. Give me the scroll, noob. The messenger gives Aravi the scroll, but right afterwards he collapses into the ground. He appears to be dead. Psh, should I add a stamina potion? Am I right? Anyways, looks like the scroll says, Venture to the northern wood. Bring this scroll. The ring of sustenance awaits you. Adventure awaits! You guys, Bye. this scroll has main quest energy. It's kind of weird, but I bet this is an invitation to a dope-ass dungeon. Ooh, I can smell the loot already. Holy shit, hold everything. I just realized where I recognize this messenger. He's an actor. I saw him on TV in a commercial for that new bagel place that's opening up around here. The, if he's an actor, that could only mean the Ring of Sustenance is the new bagel store. Aravi, that scroll is a dope-ass guerrilla marketing advertisement. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's definitely a dungeon invite. Not everything is about bagels, Hex, and the Ring of Sustenance is a super dumb name for a bagel store. It's amazing for a bagel store. Yeah, it is. Psh, not everything is about motherfucking dungeon. It's a little miss. Dungeon liker. Ah. <laughs> You know what, Hex? I do like dungeons, and I'm not ashamed of it, you green fart cloud. <laughs> Huff my shorts, you loser ass sooner. Ass <laughs> <laughs> RPG nasty smelling ass full inventory ass Koopa Troopa looking ass bitch. Holy shit. Oh hell yeah, you've been waiting for Hex and RV to have an argument so you could support one of them in a heroic gesture of romantic friendship. Pick a side. What, can you romance Hex? I uh, fucking hope so. Okay, uh, Aravi is right, obviously. So bold. Oh, so dozer. Uh, Chase, I think that the messenger is an actor, so I don't think he's actually dead. Probably wouldn't be super drilled to throw. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Chase, let's throw that corpse into the sea. Oh god. Aravi is very psyched about your corpse hurling idea. You three drag the dead corpse to a nearby cliff, overlooking the majestic stormy ocean. Oh. Damn, those are some big waves. Kinda makes you think about how small and insignificant we all are, am I right? Psych! Ocean could eat my ass! Shut up, Hex. Okay. Chase. Time to hurl. <laughs> I'm thinking we do a classic dead or alive test. We toss him... <laughs> we toss it in, and if it floats, it was a corpse. If it doesn't float, then uh, we get the experience points for killing the messenger. It's a win-win. God, I can't believe I'm about to put down my pizza roll blasted goldfish and that f be the fuck of voice of reason here. I hate being the voice of reason. It's not a vibe. Well, holy shit, that makes zero sense, RV. We got totally distracted. Even if you prove this guy's actually dead, that doesn't help us figure out the scrolls. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just the corpse of the ocean. 
I know it doesn't help us that much, but I really want to toss him. I haven't thrown a body off a cliff in like two whole months. You know what? Alright, do it. Eat that man back to Mother Earth. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, okay. Here we go, three to one. Hurl. You throw the messenger in the ocean. His body hits the water and makes a huge splash. You'll have a big laugh about it and high five Play each other. Game. See, this totally proves my point. Throwing corpses into the sea kicks ass. I still think I'm right about the bagel shop, but I'll admit that splash was dope. Now let's blindly follow this scroll to the northern Adventure woods. Together. Back here, yeah, and you're coming too. I'm officially making you our third party member for this quest. I know you're only level three, but don't worry. I'll oh, keep God. you safe while we're in the dungeon. Just stay close to me, okay? Sexy. I'm going here. That day at Camp Dome, you play Hacky Sack. That is an arrow. That's a bow and arrow. That is not Hacky Sack. There's yeah. a dead guy. There's dead people in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's all fun and games, literally. Until the Hacky Sack falls, and against all your knowledge of Hacky Sack's supposed composition, it breaks upon hitting the floor. What the fuck? The good news is inside of it, there's plus two charm? You call dibs. Man, I am just sexy this playthrough. Holy shit. Oh yeah? I have nice stats. You um, you do have... You do have got the best stats. Got those good stats. I've never had good stats in, this, in these games. <laughs> uh, it's international. I'm, I mean, you got your date last year. That's true. But I had stats specifically for that person, I think. Anyways, uh, rivalries make us all stronger today. Uh, so you've spent the afternoon competing against Camp Rival Camp in a series of camp games. There's a lot of camp in this sense. It's all come down to the tiebreaker. The dreaded climbing wall. <laughs> even the slightest mistake can result in a fall of four, five, even six feet. Terrifying. <laughs> I want to say, I picked the 60 minute one, we're past 60 minutes now, and we're just now about halfway through. Holy shit. Okay, uh, Capulester's getting ready to climb the wall, and he's facing off against Morty the Minotaur, camp rival camp. Morty? Resident hypersexualized Minotaur. <laughs> it's Morty! Uh, you're busy helping Morty rub his scented climbing oil all over his armpits and inner thighs when suddenly- ready for a challenge? Holy shit. Wait, this robot is my opponent? That's complete bullshit, and trust me, I know bullshit. I deal with it literally every day. The robot's arms are made of metal, which is... Mmm. <laughs> no. Strong. no. I'm taking a screenshot. Just a moment. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> uh, almost job. as strong as my lustful urges. And he has a com computer head that can tell him how to climb a wall by using internet. Kiss my muscles. That's an unfair advantage. He's just a machine someone built. I earned my muscles by being born with 50% bull genetics and 50% human, yet very buff genetics. <laughs> my genes have worked real hard. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. dear. I'm afraid this undeniably attractive minotaur is right. <laughs> My appendages are optimized for motor strength and dexterity, and I have downloaded about 20,000 YouTube videos about climbing <laughs> techniques. Setting status to crushing guilt over my unearned privilege. Uh, oh no. Whatever buttons. <laughs> you gotta nerf yourself if you want this to be a fair contest. Nerf. Myself, I understand the logic, but I am unsure how to achieve a nerf. Unless you mean that I should load some foam bullets into a gun and shoot them at my Can own you face. Guys see my balls? Good. Oh. <laughs> no, you've got to make it harder for yourself to climb the wall. Robots have screws, right? Maybe take out all of your screws. I'll even take off my underwear to make it fair. <laughs> oh God. Uh, help Calculus or think of a better way to nerf himself before this video game becomes an outright man bull robot pornography. <laughs> Are you okay on stream? Not really, but it's fine. <laughs> okay! I didn't know. Install Windows 95. <laughs> Disable Calculus. Oh god. 
Windows 95 it is. You pop your trusty floppy disk into Calculester's mouth? And hopefully it's his mouth. <laughs> and you install Windows 95 carefully, reading it through every word of the operating agreement before clicking agree. Calculester is nerfed. He can no longer run his perfect rock climbing subroutine as it requires too much memory on his this new OS. Ha! Ah, let's see how fast you can climb now since you've removed all that internet from your head. Wait a sec, you can still download porn, right? Please tell me you can still get porn. Oh god! Error. Insufficient hard drive space for a subroutine. Rock climb. Engage default. Subroutine. Keep things chill as fuck. <laughs> huh. Calculation seems a bit ch chiller than normal on a hunch. You ask him to play one of the chillest songs of all time, Hotel California. Playing song Hotel California by artist Eagles. Sound quality impacted by low RAM. Expect distortion effect. Oh god, it starts- Oh god, I'm not singing it. <laughs> oh my god, you've turned- Calculester <laughs> into an automatic vaporwave machine! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Screenshotting that one too! <laughs> Weird flex. Damn, I hate this robot, but I gotta admit, this song is a jam, I can absolutely- <laughs> I don't like this ball. <laughs> I love him! Yeah, I know you would. Fuck. Climbing wall in Morty's hot, tight, oiled muscles. It's time to go on tour as the world's foremost vaporwave duo. I the vaporwave in my code. Deleting folder, adult responsibilities, sufficient space available for optimal subroutine. Become electronic music god! <laughs> yeah, you okay? <laughs> no! You both gain a cult following of Vaporwave enthusiasts, which earns you plus two creativity and plus one fun. Vaporwave for life. All right. I love this game. All right, choose a movie. <laughs> I'm going to pick Garfield 2. The live action? Yeah. Christ. Um. Let me think. Let okay. me think. You can think. Thinking. Silence of the Lambs. Alright. Which movie cast would survive the longest on a deserted island together? Now hear me out. Garfield's a cartoon character. They're not okay. gonna kill each other. Now it also says on a deserted island together. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter would start <laughs> killing and kill eating them. everyone! <laughs> 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 the only oh thing Garfield God. wants to eat is lasagna. Just go! You're always first! <laughs> Not fair. It's your choice this time. Oh. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did I choose that one? Uh, okay. Um. I know I'm gonna need boldness and fun, and and my fun is just so low. Your fun is so high. Let me look at my fun. Low? It's not letting me look at it. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, everything is fun. It's just the sirens. Try learning a beautiful chance. Challenge to rip them off. You kick your ass, but you get plus two fun. You spot Aravid, Dahlia, and Calculester, and uh, Michelle, contain yourself when looking at Calculester. But none of them are making problem. out with you. They look this like organs. Hmm? It looks like he has organs. Yeah. What's up, okay. Chase? These nerds are getting all ready to raid a water dungeon together, and I'm using it as inspiration for my slam poetry. Yeah, normally I just solo it, but I hate water levels. Back to basics. Oh, well, as they say, teamwork makes the dream work. I am unable to dream, so teamwork is the best I can hope for. Calculester slips on his waterproof case. It's oddly sensual. I'm so excited to crush some monsters between my muscular thighs and inspire my allies with song. Introducing Dahlia Aquanita, the Bardbarian. I had the bard come earlier and it was a bad thing and then she goes out and 
find another bard. This is unfair. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I will be coming along as the party accountant, the IRS, as a very strict reporting. As very strict reporting guidelines for dungeoneering income. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna cause a bunch of problems. Can't have a dungeon without problems. Not since I settled with you, at least. All right, let's get in there before my buffs wear off. My buff never wears off. So excited. I may even have to get naked at some point for tactical reasons. God, treasure, adventure, tactical nudity. You've got to be a part of this adventuring party. They've already got such a strong crew. What role could you possibly fill in this water dungeon? Oh. I'm going with Chief Puzzle Officer. I know! I just... that's an option. <laughs> Not so smart. <laughs> oh, S-E-V-O, I love acronyms. <laughs> Keep going. Honey, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you must you be sure? a powerful warrior. <laughs> warrior indeed to have such a title. I Has, love it. Uh, seen any loot around here? And I hate to... So so wait, I'm in, I'm doing yeah. it, but not so sp- uh. Uh. It's because, like, they clearly wanted you to be a dominatrix. Oh god. Just keep uh. just going, it's okay baby, keep going. Michelle. Be yourself. Oh, it's me. Okay. <laughs> um, keep going, be yourself. I just, uh, of course, but naturally he would not have given himself that title, if he were not qualified to hold it, my friends are always honest. Nope. <laughs> sure, and I'm the heckin' Pope. You are, goodness, where is your fancy hat? Shall I make you one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Calculus <laughs> makes Hex a hat. Hex eats it, and you're off on your adventure. Oh my God. Not long before you encounter your first yeah. puzzle. All right, looks like it's classic sliding block puzzle. Normally, I just try to run real fast and clip through the door, but since we've got a CPO now, that's your cue. You stride confidently up and to the first block and abruptly realize you have no clue how to solve puzzles. Uh. That's that no. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Does anyone know why chance of smashing those two blocks together while screaming "kiss, kiss"? Because love conquers all, you shout at them. It's called lateral you thinking. Uh, I think you may be confused with lateral thinking, which, with dumb thinking, it is a common mistake. <laughs> Whatever, they haven't seen your secret technique yet. You open, <laughs> openly weeping because you can't solve the puzzle. It is starting to get less funny. Can someone push that block into the corner and we'll push block here? Dahlia knocks the block into the corner with a very arousing flying sidekick. The door unlocks and your friends forge ahead without your sorry ass. You scamper after them, swearing that you know how to solve puzzles. You pull out a Sudoku from your bag to show them. But you're still underwater, so the Sudoku gets soaked oh into- uh, Oh god! Oh baby, I love you! I'm so sorry! <laughs> at least I'm married. Oh, I'll god. never I'll never <laughs> win at these games, but. I won in life, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, oh, I can't go to the same place you went to. Nope, I've been- You don't need any you more fun. You, you don't need any more fun. You. Look at your I fun. I have all of the fun. Look, look at yours. How do I look at- Oh, okay. Do I need more- Boldness or charm? Uh, I would say maybe like a little bit more smarts, get that into the double, Smart. but that's me, and I've never won at this, so I'm you do much. you, fam. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do boldness. Right. That day you venture into the haunted manor to prove that you're not a little scaredy cat. The manor transforms itself into a winding maze from which there is no escape. You'll be trapped here forever! Luckily you brought your phone and some snacks, so you sit down and play solitaire until the house gets bored of you and shows you the exit. It turns out the best defense against the supernatural is total apathy. You gain plus two boldness. Honestly. <laughs> you spot calculus for fiddling with what looks like a compass. 
He has to borrow it because you have a strong desire for any object that contains the word ass. Mm -hmm. Though it pains me to deny your request, TZ. I simply must decline. This is an experimental compass, which I am using for a special project. You ask him why his experimental compass has replaced the word north with great is this job. What people call for encouragement. You see, this is no ordinary compass. What I am attempting to construct here is a moral compass. Mm -hmm. During my tenure at Spooky High and subsequently here at Camp Spooky, I have noticed that many of our peers are, shall we say, morally challenged. It is not their fault, I know. All monsters are fundamentally good. Uh, they are merely confused and possibly sociopaths. <laughs> so in order to help them know what is right and hopefully do a bit less crimes, I am constructing this device to help point them in the right direction. The trouble is, whereas ordinary compasses orient themselves according to the Earth's magnetic north, I do not know what outright uh, what ought to serve as my compass a moral north. <laughs> Stop screaming. What? <laughs> at first, I was sure that it should point at Oprah. <laughs> but then <laughs> I learned she is breeding an army of snake people infused with her DNA in order to take over the world. I fucking believe it. That won't do wow. at all. With so many Oprah snake clones slithering around, the compass won't know where to put <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I have another idea. I can ask you for help. You are clearly a paragon of virtue, as evidenced by the fact that you are always following me around trying to please me. <laughs> <laughs> Not inaccurate. What do you think I should use for my moral north? <laughs> Critique of pure reason by the crossroads. Uh, whoever's at the top of the official world. What? First of all, critique of pure reasons. I I've never heard of that. Is that like a thing? I I no. I don't know. You don't know? Very dead. Well, what it's saying is it's a critique of pure reason, so bad, bad things. Uh, buried at a crossroads, so it's probably a demon book. <laughs> Where's the top of the official world karma scoreboard? You know what? That's silly. So fun. Oh, yes. The world karma scoreboard. Oh, you got I more love... fun. Great. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I didn't gain more fun. It just was like, oh, I am fun. I think uh, it gives oh, yes. you a plus. It's been 14 <laughs> for a while. Yeah, it... Keep going. I love the fact that moral righteousness can be numerically verified. According to this year's records, the current leader of the scoreboard is none other than Pamela Blunge of Detroit, Michigan. Wow, they even have her full address listed on the scoreboard. What a fortuitous invasion of privacy, happy face. I rushed over Pamela so nice for you. Moral North. Mirage is busy rescuing three cats and a baby from the house fire. <laughs> Goodness, she really is quite virtuous. Hello, Pamela. We have come to ask for a small favor, but it can wait until you are no longer smoldering. No, no, says Pamela, beaming. Ask away. There's always something on fire around here. <laughs> really? Not... How dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> says Pam. Some might say it's the city government taking advantage of my extreme virtue by totally flouting fire safety regulations in this neighborhood. But personally, I see it as an opportunity to earn more karma. Amazing, and these constant fires are the reason you're at the top of the scoreboard. People always seem to think that, but no. I don't save any more babies than a regular fire. <laughs> then what's your secret? I have heard you give your entire income to charity. Is that it, or perhaps it's all the kidneys you've donated? No, no. Pam replies, these things help, but it turns out the number one source of bad karma is making posts on social media. So I don't. Error, you make no posts on social media. None. You truly are a modern day saint. <laughs> Thank you, I tried since Pam. So what is that favor you wanted? I was wondering, since you are such a paragram of <laughs> this fucking voice. Paragon. Paragon of Virtue, if you would consider becoming the Moral North for my moral compass. Sure, says Pam, anything for a fan. Excellent. Please hold this high-powered magnet in your mouth forever. Goodbye. <laughs>
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> just killed um, this woman. <laughs> you, she's dead now. Um, you leave them with the magnet in her mouth. And from that day forward, the compass always ports in the right direction. Or at least the direction of a fire that needs putting out. Whatever you- I'm more creativity. You gain two creativity and one boldness. I'm very creative and fun. <laughs> oh, Alright. Uh, an object. Scissors. Uh, blue Yeti microphone. Alright. <laughs> Uh, a fellow camper with whom you share a tent has bought brought 20 of this object. Player orders a set of how unsettled you'd feel about sharing the tent with this person. Alright. <laughs> For me personally, someone... I'm, okay, so there's two ways we could look at this. Either A... Yeah. Someone brought 20 microphones to a camp for some reason. Or B... Someone brought 20 pairs of scissors. Now, Which could be useful. Could be useful. The microphones, the only way 20 of those are going to be useful are for the one person. <laughs> well, so I up. think you won this one. Hold up. Okay. On one hand, no. Yeah, because if you bring scissors to a camp, it could be like for crafts or something. Yeah. I think I did win. You won. Because not, why won are you finally. doing? Holy what shit. are you doing with 20 microphones? <laughs> it's it's you, oh, it's Michelle. You're first. I know. Right, I'm first for once. Don't. Where's my boy? <laughs> your boys with Dang your other boy. My boy. My my two boys that I've always harassed by Damien. Anyways, you smell something burning, and know very well that there where there's smoke, there's a fire. In this case, it's a campfire. Well, yeah, that's where we are, and that's. Burning is everything. <laughs> Friend Damien, I am concerned that you are engaging in destructive behavior. Nah. Damien throws a shoe into the camp by rush crackles and flares up. He makes some meds in a notebook he's carrying. Oh, sup, TZ. When I get in on some sweet research? Friend TZ, my own research has led me to the hypothesis that Damien is merely using science as a pretense for arson. See, you what? keep getting no. the clear ones where you're like picking between two people. Yeah. This and I get like, do you want to be research. a dom or a bard? It's good. You're getting the ones I should get. <laughs> See, I'm even taking notes. Damien takes a pillow and throws it into the fire. But, friend Damien, all you are writing is shoe. It burns. Pillow. It burns. <laughs> Aravi's diary. It burns. Yes, that's your point. But you're definitely not going to see eye on matters of fire research. Not without you chiming in, that is. Wow, Damien burning stuff, so original. Damien, uh, why don't you do some research on what defines you beyond arson? Get some layers, my dude. Calculus, or remember, every item Damien burns is an item that can't fall into the hands of some truly villainous blah, blah, blah. For truly villainous reasons, Damien is preventing crime. I don't know which one I want to go with, because they could both be fine, you know? Uh, I know which one you should, but it's well, fine. The thing is, if I'm like an asshole to Damien, that's not good for anyone. Let me just... Okay, you, do, you do you. I guess I'm going to do it. That's funny, though. No, I'm going to choose that one. Aw, I got a little heart. I, what? No, what? No, I, I'm very multifaceted. Just last week I put a really, on a really well received production of Macbeth. Exclusively starring Molotov cocktails, but I also did a really nice trip to the museum. But when I went to give them my ticket, it somehow turned into a Molotov cocktail, and then the Molotov cocktail threw at dinosaur bones, and then the dinosaur bones burned down and set the taxidermy animals on fire. Also, it's possible I just did arson in a museum and then forgot about it. You see, friend Damien, friend TZ has a point. A quick internal search shows that your previous shenanigans have included burning down the school library and burning down a restaurant and a movie theater in the same night. Oh my god. And your quest to punch the sun could, in some ways, be considered by your related given the nature of the sun itself. A scan of the internet shows that there are forums in which it is discussed 
that your entire arson shtick is getting old. Oh my God. <laughs> However, I have no desire to engage in criticism without being constructive, so I simultaneously researched a precise list of activities to make you multi-dimensional and or likable. My calculations show your reputation would improve if you spent more time working on your makeup skills, bonding with your dads, and being shirtless. Perhaps you should try those. Yeah, no, I'm not. I just, you can't just call me someone out like that. You can't call someone out like that. You've made me so vulnerable now. <laughs> yes, your vulnerability is what people want to see more of. Also, your abs heart. <laughs> well, I, I just, yeah. We seem to have been successful. I am certain he has stormed off to practice his smoky eye and do sit ups. Hooray! <laughs> Perhaps I should take some of my own advice and do something wildly out of character. Like, like, kill some- <laughs> No, no, I would never. Perhaps I should just stick to this my- robot taking was... care of my plants and taking care this of This robot my was made for you. <laughs> Holy shit, would you like to spend a lovely evening by the campfire burning nothing but marshmallows? Hell yeah, you wouldn't, you do! Sure, it's not really breaking new ground for Calculester as a character, but he's so dang cute, you ain't mad. Oh, <laughs> he is cute. I love him. Yeah. Time to- <laughs> time to fail. <laughs> <laughs> time to fail. You wander over to the campfire, hoping to peer pressure someone into making you a s'more. And when you find Milo, Aravi, and Hex, they're all gathered around the notebooks. What up, what up, what up? Hey, Chase, check it out. We're doing- Poetry. It's like normal sentences, but deep. Exactly, Hex. As a reaper with the finest taste in the living arts, of course, I'm a poetry stan. In the infinite, in my infinite compassion, I thought that poetry could be a nice exercise for Aravi to connect with her feelings and embrace the now with a little more joy. Grrr, ah. As to her blind rage. Come on, Aravi. Monoravi poetry is tight! I mean, usually I express myself through the flavor of Pringles I'm eating, but Milo has shown me I can also express those feelings with words! That's wonderful, Hex. You see, Ravi dear, there's poems for everyone. Like, epics are poems, too. And epic sounds right up your alley, doesn't it? Ugh, I just, I don't really get it. I mean, my grandmother used to read me the Ma Brata when I was a kid. Uh, that one was cool, and it might count as an epic, I guess. I'm trying to put my feelings into this poem, but the only feeling I have is a deep desire to win. You have a desire to win, or do you want to win the battle against your own vulnerability? Get good! <laughs> no, you doof. I want to win the poetry, obviously. Aravi, <laughs> this is not a competition. Poetry is the opposite of competitive. You're insulting Sylvia Plath by implying otherwise. As usual, Milo is just lying to my face so they can get an advantage in this poetry battle. Nice try, Milo. That trick doesn't work. On, won't work on me. Mm. I can read. Besides, I've told you this over and over. Everything is a competition. It should have a little addendum if you try hard enough. <laughs> Everything, what about, I don't know, sleeping? Yes, it is. Uh, it's a competition for those who can get the most of it, or you can do a challenge run to see who can survive on the least sleep possible. Sorry. <laughs> what about yoga? Ah. A competition for who is the most bendy and sweaty in there. <laughs> Bagels. Uh, oh my god. My throat's really starting to kill me. Wait, you guys listen to this poem I just wrote. Bagels. They used to be everywhere, but now they are inside of me. <laughs> it's a metaphor for consumers. Oh my god. Milo's getting frustrated with Asari's lack of vulnerability, and Aravi is about to physically fight Milo. Intervene before someone's feelings get hurt. Ever heard of slam poetry? It's poetry that can turn into a blunt weapon to beat your opponents with. Whoever can club the enemy to death will be the poem winner. Aravi, you haven't ever been right pose? These are just walkthrough guides. If anyone here is a winner, it isn't you. Uh, oh, slam, obviously. Whoa, did you just say blunt weapons? Blazing! 
Uh, I specialize in blunt weaponry. <laughs> no, 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 Chase. Slam poetry is a form of poetry reading that rewards the most ham-fisted... Ham-fisted? Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> there shouldn't you be... Okay? I'm fine, and no one else is gonna <laughs> understand why I fr freaked out at that. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah, and that's that's all I wanted to make sure was that you knew yeah, what I, was coming. No, uh, as soon as you had to repeat it. Uh, <laughs> performance possible. It's too late. Aravi is no longer listening. She rolled up her poems like a newspaper, and she's using them to beat the shit out of a pair of nearby oh goblins. God. Those goblins were clearly just taking a union-approved smoke break from their normal gig of being dungeon monsters. But Aravi doesn't listen mm -hmm. when they're. Uh, when they insist they're off duty. Even though the goblins are screaming in pain. They do seem to like our hobby's poetry. If we're gonna die, at least we were beaten to death by such beautiful words. You guys seen any loot around here? Ah, sick. Check out the loot I got from these dead goblins. Two whole packs of cigarettes. Noise! Oh my god. Do you even smoke? Hmm. Fuck no, but I can craft. Uh, I guess I could craft a cigarette. <laughs> it's that. Well, I scandal. Well, I'm scandalized by this violence. But uh, do you feel a bit better now, Robbie? Yeah, I kind of felt good to let it out like that. Maybe poetry really is a good outlet for anger and other bad feelings and stuff. I finally understand poetry. It is truly beautiful art. I'm so happy we're finally on the same stanza. Yes, a beautiful artist just like Taekwondo or Jiu Jitsu or cutting someone's head off with long sword. I wanted poetry! <laughs> you know what, Milo? I think I'll definitely be writing more poetry in the future, especially if I run into any more low level creatures. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I'm so happy I could help, and also, I was right from the beginning and I knew it. <laughs> Psst, jeez. You know, this, this teaching Ravi to beat people with poems just to gain her affection is super irresponsible, right? And being irresponsible is what I'm all about, fist bump. Heck yeah, everybody's happy, except those goblins <laughs> who are near death. But you didn't come here to fuck a goblin. Oh shit! <laughs> Unless there's some sort of super secret area oh, for that, in which case you <laughs> yeah. That was really bad. No. <laughs> a weekend like, arrives, and so it's time to visit Juan, the small magical Latino cat. Okay. Look who's here, <laughs> even though I, <laughs> I have more of a British voice. <laughs> Look who's here, welcome to my bar. Really, I don't know who in their right mind would take such a risk. I guess you have more thirst than common sense. Anyways, check this drink out. What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? It's a mosquito. Or would you prefer the mystery box? I'm gonna take the box. Of course. Of course. No refunds. And it passes the... Okay. Why does it give you that? It's weird. It doesn't like you. <laughs> well, the mystery box is gonna be worse, right? Probably. Do it for the memes. I'm gonna do the. Well, I'm no, gonna do the mosquito. Yeah. And yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense, and you passed. Your prize is the drink you chose. That better give me something good. All right, mosquito. Good old mosquito. It's not a drink, just a magic mosquito that would. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So hold on. No, that's not bad. That's passing my oh. stats into different fields. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. <gasps> it drained oh. my boldness entirely, though. Holy shit, though. Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna be going for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I turned the actual location into a drink. It's so fucking concentrated that everyone has. An opportunity to gain one extra stat for at every location. You'll be one with location. Nice. Thanks, Mush. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. So did it give you stuff too? It's for everyone, yeah. Did it give uh, you one in everything or just a no, random? We will be able to get one more stat point at every location now. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, chicken tendies. Mm, chicken tendies. Chicken tendies. Pizza. Okay. Pizza. Uh, pizza. I would go with pizza. <laughs> yeah, chicken mm, can get really. Here, here's where I would say chicken, because chicken doesn't have a high amount of sugar. So if you're having monstrous quantities of pizza, you're gonna, like, kill yourself. It has cheese, too. I guess, for a survival, it would make sense for you. Yeah. But for me, it would just be more... Yeah, I'm also lactose. Yeah. So, <laughs> never mind. But... Final week. It's gonna be midnight by the time we're done with this. Oof. Well, then okay. We immediately go to Nanorimo. Okay, I need. Let me go to the lake for once. Yeah, no, I need boldness. <laughs> I need boldness. So, if so you you're good. Over your yeah, no, I know. Stats, uh, <laughs> I've been to two locations this entire time. Day you explore the haunted band or basement. <laughs> Only find it has a sub basement. The sub basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase to a sub sub basement. The sub sub basement is a haunted wine cellar. The sub 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 basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. <laughs> the sub basement to the tenth power is a subway. You eating a foot long Reuben and continue your travels. Uh, you eventually check a walkthrough and find out. The Haunted Manor can spawn an infinite amount of sub-basements. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is Dom uh, Sub Leather Room. Oh. You gain plus three- Why is this game pushing this on here? You gain plus three boldness from the horrors you witness there. It's doing it to you. It's I know! It's to me! Uh, a few hours later, you're out adventuring with Aravi and Hex. Y'all followed the scroll from that messenger, and now you're deep in the northern woods. You've already found several environmental puzzles and a few cryptic clues. With each solved puzzle, you draw closer to the secret location of the Ring of Subsistence. So we're still going on that. That's cool. Strangely, all of the puzzles and clues so far have been vaguely bagel themed. <laughs> Once I rearranged these glowing stones to spell locks, a scroll appeared. Damn, this is some dope ass gorilla bagel shop marketing. This promo slaps. For the last of next, these clues are leading us to a dungeon, not a fucking bagel store. It's so obvious. Ugh. You'll see when we get there. What does the scroll say? Psh, whatevs, bagel hater. The scroll says, Michelle is tip tap, tap, tip tap. tap. So you you need the the noise gate. Um, I'm going to mute it when I'm tippy tap. Okay. Uh, the scroll says you near the end of your quest, triumphant adventures. Walk two miles north. The ring awaits you there. Whoa. <laughs> Finally, we've solved these annoying intro puzzles, and now we get to dive headfirst into some sweet, sweet dunge. Gods, I hope it's multi-leveled with a super complicated layout. Totes, but just in case it ends up being a bagel shop, I should prep first. I gotta make sure my patented cream cheese utility belt is full of maximum flavors. Gross, but yeah, uh, we should get ready. I should head back to the stash and optimize my inventory. I'm all short-range high damage right now, if you know what I mean. Ravi puts a bag over your head and leads you to her nearest fully stocked weapon stash. She starts reviewing her inventory. Okay, just gotta pack enough for a full dungeon run. Let's go with 20 green for heals, 20 red for mana. That's swapped from normal, but that's fine. And 400 apples in case I need a quick plus 5 health. Uh, I'll need 128 different types of crafting materials. Dungeons are unpredictable. You never know when a mini boss is going to be weak against a Iridium Core. And then I have my weapons, Ob. Uh, as of now, I've got 8 swords and 14 crossbows equipped, each with slightly different attack and range sets. Those are all 100% necessary. Boring. Damn, Aravi hoarders. My hoarding addiction called. They want their absurd collection of useless shit back. Okay, I have one last inventory spot open. Oh, I know. I'll take the Axe of Golden Demise. I looted it off a Lightning Warlock miniboss last week. Fuck that, Harabi. You know we share inventory space and I need that slot. I'm planning to get covered in schmear. Uh, so I gotta take my package of 200 paper napkins. Ugh. Napkins. Schmier? He's still thinking it's gonna be bagels. Uh, napkins. That's a complete waste of inventory space. We're going to be fighting to survive in that dungeon. Okay? I don't have time for your snack food nonsense. 
Dude, you're like 99% of the inventory space. You can't give me one slot. Where did you learn to share? The toilet school? <laughs> Robbie and Hex are fighting again, but luckily for them, you're an expert at conflict resolution. What's the best use for Robbie's last precious inventory slot? Uh, Robbie. Uh, okay. Bullshit, Chase. You're making up a dumb lie to trick me and impress a Ravi. I'm not gonna fall for it, like all the other idiots around here. Huh? No, uh, he is right. The axe of Golden Demise is the pinnacle of bread slicing weaponry. I'll prove it. She equips the axe and she's got immunity against lightning based attacks. Alright, I'm ready. Now we need a test bagel. Hex got one on you. You know I do, mofo. X summons a bagel out of thin air. It's impressive, but also unsettling. Why does he need a bagel shop if you can just summon them out of thin air? Where the fuck did that bagel come from? Was it in their pocket? Or is this one of Hex's supernatural abilities? Can they summon bagels? I'm not a narrator, and I don't even know. Throw the bagel at me as hard as you can. I'll show you the true power of the Ox of Golden Demise. Believe it! What Whatevs. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Bagel yeet! The bagel flies through the air and Arabi slices through it perfectly. The axe of golden demise shimmers as its legendary blade parts the bread and twine. Arabi's technique was so flawless that she somehow toasted the bagel. One slice lands in Hex's hands and the other slice lands in your hands. Mmm, toasty. Oh my god, I was so wrong. This thing is awesome. Oh my god. Fuck the napkins. This unbelievably sharp murder weapon is the ultimate bagel eating accessory. Pog. I still don't understand Pog, I'll be honest. Anyways, uh, yep, didn't you read the flavor text? The axe was crafted by a legendary blacksmith who was, uh, made out of bread, right, Chase? Yeah. Uh, thanks, I really wanted to test out this bad boy. When we get to the dungeon, I'll slaughter a goblin in your honor. Once again, your conflict resolution skills have saved the day. Now prepare yourself. The reign of sustenance awaits. There I go. Hi, Jinx and Sue. Yeah, I can finally go to the lake. Finally. That day you bring a magazine to read by the lake. You, the cover story is how to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. <laughs> Step one, go to the lake. Step two, wait. Wait, that's it? Then why hasn't that worked for you yet? I'll be Probably honest. You just gained plus three fun. I don't Thanks, think we read. Cosmopolitan. Huh? I don't think we read as much last year, and that's why last year we did only like a 50 minutes in this year with a 60 minute yeah. game we're an hour and 40 we're in the full thing it's yeah fine. i'm having fun I, it, plus three fun <laughs> stop uh you take a break from tomfoolery to spend a few quiet moments with calculester romantically pursuing some spreadsheets <laughs> i love all of these I would, dumb puns i would say you are yeah and this friend TZ is an index of every plant I have cared for during my short lifetime. Look, here is Buckaroo Banzai. There is Robert Plantingson. Uh, and <laughs> here is the entry for Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, oh dear. According to this spreadsheet, I have severely neglected poor Jennifer and her feeding. Watering and sunlight are all within an acceptable range, but look here. Calculus or Trace. <laughs> Your attention to a column labeled emotional development. 13.5. Statistically, that is the most immature number. I must find time to take her into the woods to be mentored by an older, wiser plant. Perhaps a Dutch elm. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Better make that trip soon, naive summer camper, because the woods won't be here for much longer, ha 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 ha. Indeed, all organic life is fleeting, but I do not think it calls for laughter. But if I didn't laugh, how would you know I was an evil CEO? Mr. Pop is the name, hmm, building perhaps shopping I should introduce malls myself. the game. I talked over him. Mr. Papa's is the name, and turning beloved summer camps into shopping malls is my game. A game which I intend to play here at Camp Spooky by buying it and turning it into a shopping mall. I do not understand what leads you to believe that this is a good location for a shopping mall. What are your site selection criteria? Oh, this will be a shopping mall. 
That's easy. When deciding where to build a shopping mall, I always consider three things. Acreage, local infrastructure, and how many hundreds of youths it will upset. <laughs> As the saying goes, you can't build a shopping mall without upsetting a few youths. But I didn't get where I am today by seven Settling for just oh a few. Dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Aww. Oh dear, according to the spe specified criteria, Camp Spooky is indeed the ideal location for a shopping mall. I do not support the wholesale destruction of this camp and its environs, but I feel compelled to bow to superior logic. What can I do? I oh, know if Camp Spooky is replaced with a shopping mall, where are you gonna mech? <laughs> the food cart? Gross! Christ, there's only one way out. You've got to suggest a shopping location that would upset even more youths than building it here. 1980s? Kids hate when you take away their video games. Build a shopping one Fortnite? Chase. Yeah? I'm upset. By what? <laughs> this is question. Oh, I want to say 1980s, but Fortnite's funny. Fortnite is funny. Would that one work more? Fortnite would upset all of the kids, probably. I'm doing Fortnite. The way you think. That's brilliant. We'll meet the kids where they are in their video games. I must caution you, friend, Mr. Papa's gamers are a notoriously combative bunch. You do not wish to upset them. Good. I feel. I feed on impotent danger. Literally, I'm a magical creature who eats bad feelings. That's my kink. <laughs> oh no. Besides, we may be building a mall in Fortnite, but it'll be the same game kids love. Sure, we need to replace shooting with shopping and building with Orange Julius, but the fundamental gameplay experience remains the same. Constantly paying money to a faceless corporation. Now we're talking. No, no, no. Consistently paying money to a faceless corporation. Along with all your friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fortnite was basically an enormous shopping mall already. <laughs> yeah. But the CEO's not so subtle changes push people over the edge. Rebuilding against the new Cinema Graphics Engine. Oh, God. <laughs> Which renders all characters' models as delicious swirls of cinnamony goodness. The players flee the game with drugs. I fixed Fortnite! <laughs> I fixed you it! You did it! You did it! But Congrats! I saved the youths! But what are they going to do? Go outside? Hell no. They're looking for other games to play instead. Specifically, narrative driven, <laughs> driven comedy dating sims. Like, uh, oh, I won't spoil anything. Like, uh, uh says, like Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, right. This has been huge for developers of Monster Camp, who asked me to thank you for their efforts in giving you plus two fun and one creativity and making calculus for like you more. Nice! Alright. I think I'm gonna win! Everybody choose something good. Uh, so, wh what do they mean by something good? Just like know. something that it has good character? Good Just traits? Whatever you think is good. I'm gonna go with. Going. Uh, I'm you, going with. Fuck. <laughs> hurry up. Because I know it's what I'm going time. with, but you, but you might go up okay. with it. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give go you a chance. Computers, internet. What are you? I'm going, going with? with mochi. Mochi. You found a treasure map. There's a mark spot, and apparently there's treasure just for plenty of the gift thing. Play your order. Decide based on how likely to go and venture to get that treasure. Obviously, mochi. <laughs> We're gonna let you do mochi, because that's <laughs> cute! Gotta get that mochi! I can do this! Um, alright. I'm gonna go for boldness again. Because it murdered your boldness. Yeah. Uh, everything is fine and you're really sure to how brave you are. And suddenly a ghost, or is it just someone wearing a blanket with two holes? So hard to tell the difference. Appears and whispers in your ear. Remember one day, you will be long gone and no one will remember you. All the stranger, blah 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 blah. Ghost leaves you with all that in, gaining plus three boldness from the process. Afterwards, you meet up with Robbie and Hex. Ever since you received that mysterious scroll, you three have been on a long and erroneous quest. Solved countless puzzles, followed clue after clue, prepped your inventory, and now you're finally here. The secret location of the Ring of Sustenance. What the fuck? It's a big dumb wall. This isn't a bagel shop or a dungeon. I want a refund. 
Oh, that's not just a wall. Check out the weird markings. We gotta insert the scepter from the second puzzle, and there, that should do it. Suddenly, the ground below you starts shaking. The wall crumbles away and opens up a huge dark cavern. I've just realized my mic is p and back. Okay. Uh, suddenly, the ground below you starts shaking. The wall crumbles away and opens up a huge dark cavern. You hear that telltale door open. Music cue. Hear a deep and mysterious voice emanating from the cavern. Adventurers, if you seek the ring of sustenance, triumph over evil in this dungeon of bread. Mm. Yes, as a motherfucking dungeon, I told you so. Ah. <sighs> ah, you were right. There's no arguing with that music cue. Let's get this over with. Robbie, at least let me eat some bread demon flesh while we're in there. Go ahead into the dungeon of bread, and Naravi is absolutely crushing it. She solves three puzzles immediately finds the dungeon map without taking any damage. Yeah. Ooh, dungeon maps suck. Why would you need a map of the dungeon? What is this? school? Ah. you're kidding me? The dungeon map is half the fun, and it gets even better when you get the compass. Ravi takes out the bosses in three hits and not locks down the boss key. Soon you arrive at the boss chamber. It's quiet. Too what? quiet. It's a trap. There's going to be such a sick boss fight. Check out that huge lava pit in the middle of the room. Pretty dodgy, if you ask me. I bet the boss is gonna pop out of- Ah! Ravi was totally right. The dungeon boss leaps out of the huge pit of lava. It's a massive fire-breathing lizard. Is it a Dodongo? Do we need to put bombs in it? Uh, you piece of shit coming to my house? Dungeon boss roars, fucking fight me to death. Yikes, you cower in the corner while Ravi battles the dungeon boss. Dodges his attacks sequences and gets a few parries, but her attacks don't seem to be working. Unbelievable! Joe, sure, why isn't it taking damage? This was a bread-based dungeon. I didn't expect a fire-type boss. My weapons aren't optimized for this. Mm. Holy shit, we're gonna die. I can't die. I have leftovers in the fridge waiting for me. Calm down. We need to figure out the dodger balls we can I brought it as a rigorous wife. Can't believe I'm saying this, but Chase, I need your help. Gonna oh help her literally die. Uh, best way to figure out its weakness. Attack at the dungeon boss in his heart. Text its ex lovers and ask if they're willing to spitefully share its weakness. Uh, attack in the privacy, hack into its laptop, and snoop through its search history. Oh, God. Neither sound good. Um. But it does seem to be like. I would say privacy. No. Oh god, this game hates you. <laughs> it's genius. Are you are okay? You... No, fine. <laughs> <laughs> our inner search history reveals our truest, most vulnerable selves. For example, I originally Googled how to eat someone's hair without them noticing. Probably it distracts the dungeon boss and you see we got this hack at type of B. I think the part of it is also the fact that it continues down the path of failure. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, using your god luck, oh, you immediately figure out the dungeon boss master password on defeat of boss 6969. You search everything through the boss search to Google Dungeon Boss because I was too invisible. Help. So Google Dungeon Boss, no weak point, and our invisible boss is less relatable, likable. How to grow huge, vulnerable eye on my back. So it looks like the dungeon boss is a member of several internet support groups for invincible immortal monsters. Yikes, your hacking skills have revealed that this dungeon boss is this basically is unbeatable. Weaknesses is that's bullshit. Everyone has weakness. Just for example, my weakness is you, as in I was weak to let someone oh, no. so useless join my adventuring oh, party. Oh no! Bye, loser. You're a, uh. Oh god! Chase, I'm We're sorry! Oh, yeah, no. it's like I was saying, yes, and he's like, get the fuck out of the lava filled boss chamber. Uh oh. Oh, hon. You've been rejected! <laughs> Oh god! I just got that boldness. <laughs> <laughs> you really fucked this one up, huh? Oh, At least this to go. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No. Oh, I think I need more charm. Oh, fight. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not going well for you. <laughs> Today, the camp. It's going no. worse than last year. I know, but it's kind of funny. Oh, at least it's, it's at least it's entertaining. All right. Uh, uh, today at the camp dome, the game is charades extreme. 
It's just regular charades, but apparently they love to stick extreme onto any classic game. It's your turn and you get third times the charm. Third is easy to convey just by using your fingers. But charm is harder to get your team to guess it right. You act as if you were more charming than you really are. You managed to do that game plus the charm by playing that role and bring your team to victory. Hooray! Where's my robot boy? Oh. You've been spending a lot of time with Calculester lately, so when he asks if you want to meet up for some standard organic activities, you're thrilled. It's his most romantic Greetings, invitation yet. Hello, organic life forms. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend TZ. Thank you so much for joining me for these activities. I am 98.46% sure you will enjoy them. First, I propose that we watch several- Ow! <laughs> Several hours of horny anime while online comparison shopping for vacuum cleaners. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, after that, we can track down some of our campmates and shamelessly attempt to integrate ourselves to them with wacky hijinks. Success! And to rent out the evening, we can finish up by leaving positive reviews of Monster Frog <laughs> 2 Monster Camp on Steam. <laughs> Well, wow, those are literally all of your favorite things to do. How did he know? <laughs> it is no big mystery, friend. I simply downloaded and pursued your entire search history. Oh, really? So that's a that's a positive for you, huh? <laughs> Many of my less scrupulous brethren use this technique for marketing purposes, but I have chosen to use my power for good by I will go rhythmically identifying all of your favorite activities. Speaking of which, I wanted to do the cake thing as well, but had trouble finding a large enough horse. Chase, I'm scared! Did it look up my search history? <laughs> you think that this it's is too genuine? accurate? Uh. It's too accurate. I'm upset. I'm scared. Wow, that's super creepy, but in like a totally cute way that you absolutely love! Oh Christ! Calculus <laughs> leads lead you around for the rest of the afternoon, and each activity he suggests is even more enjoyable than the last. Seems like reducing a complex person down to a constellation of online data is not only possible, but also super fun and deeply unethical. <laughs> Two of your favorite things! That night, though, as you lie in your tent reminiscing about the day's adventures, I thought it occurs to you. If Calculus is reading your entire search history, that gives you a great way to low-key signal your attraction to him. You leap out of bed, energized by your new idea, it's time to go online for romantic reasons. But what combination of search searchers will unlock Calculus's cold metal heart? The answer might surprise you. Hey Chase. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? It's it's funny. <laughs> Are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I am tired. I might take a nap. Oh, God. Once we're done. <laughs> not so charming. You could release just a whole bunch of luscious plants in there, but this one is good. This will be the most important piece of movies of your life. If that's all the put, you get to work. Col Colson Art Metal Classic Four Slice Toaster. More like Metal Debt Asic! <laughs> uh, six out of nine would absolutely fuck this toaster! Oh god! I should have done robot porn! Yeah, should have, yeah. You can skip yeah, this can... stuff if you I'm want. I'm skipping all of this shit. After hours of careful reading, you finally drift on sleep, please, with your hard work. The next morning, you had to out to locate Calculus, only to find him waiting right outside your tent. Hello, TZ. Since I know exactly where you sleep, I thought this would be a good place to find you. Those reviews you posted, they were so, so... <laughs> Error on board. You objectified a bunch of computer things. To express current level of emotional impact, resuming true improvisation. Discus terrible! I cannot believe you would so objectify these poor electronics in that way. <laughs> they were objects. 
Oh, oh dear, I had no idea. Oh god! Of this mess. Well, I suppose only data is I hope good. you didn't. Uh, I mean, this oh. is one negative out of literally doing everything else right, so you if should be fine. This particular data makes me very, very sad. Very well, TZ, I hope you've been happy with your video game control nipples. You're devastated. You drown your sorrows in a brief love affair with the right you control. <laughs> but it's not very emotionally available. I lost things. Oh god. Last day. It's uh. just. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> it won't be, but it uh. it's what I. Yep. Yay. I mean, what if I chose Damien? <laughs> so. <laughs> be funny. All right. Uh oh. Finally gather the courage to ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. <laughs> Wait, you want to be my summer fling? Gasp. I don't know, I look at this website, it says you're F tier on the dating meta. Dating you would be such a new move. Look, you're considered a worse date than dating an oh, actual yeah. stingray. I'd totally date an actual stingray. Yeah, I'd date neither. I gotta be strategic if I want to win at dating. You two can fight to see who gets to date the actual uh, stingray. and reported. Oh. Got rejected by your summer crush, and everyone knows it! This rumor spread. Future generations of campers do the story. I really need to be careful I not to get this fucking rumor. I swear to God. Ghost of Chase will haunt you and ask you out on a date. Inside of him would be so pathetic that it would be kind of spooky. Uh, you will! Because that's how it goes. You desire a summer fling with me. Well, my summer research indicated that summer rent is an integral part of the perfect camp experience. And according to my diagnosis of all our fellow campmates, you are indeed the most desirable match by a .06 margin. In that case, I would love to be your fling. Nice. I did it. The left day of camp was wonderful. You helped Cal improve his ant farm. And he helped you make one of your own so you can be ant farm buddies. That's fucking cute. You decided to merge your ant farms in a show of good faith amongst your divided properties. Then you calculated the various densities and soil enrichment efficiencies to maximize your conjoined farm's productivity. You made lots of charts while the meteors raced down. <laughs> your date was as romantic as it was mathematical. Oh god. So, uh, zero new secret endings, 16 new events, 16 oh. new outcomes, 3 new special stuffs. Um, so it gives you more shit each time? Yeah. Nice. I think the last one did that too. And that was Monster Camp. Before it's we knew done. it. Oh, we knew those 3 weeks Before were gone. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute and it felt like an entire lifetime. The night. As we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what it would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now, I'm older, and I can see it. Hallow's years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries. Wild nights became epic tre epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. That's cute. Do we... There's more. <laughs> oh, Even God. today, I, I can think... still close my eyes, and I'm there on that last summer night, feeling like I was just starting to live life. Oh. Oh. With all my friends around that campfire, so young and unafraid, and so ready to start. Oh, they animate it! Oh! Okay, you can do the thing now. Do what thing? It's the outro. Oh, well, I mean, the credits are going, but yeah. Uh, that might be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching Monster Camp. Um, depending on when the uh, next DLC or update comes out for this, uh, we might do that around the time it comes out, or we'll save it for Halloween next year. Just keep this being a Halloween tradition. Um, but yeah, uh, I am terrible at this game. <laughs> uh, 
I'm very terrible at this game. Oh, hey, Ross voice. Or Ross did a thing. He did, he did nice. something. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of his um, social monsters characters were like secrets in here. I could see that. Um, but yeah, so uh, real quick, if you're watching this uh, November, Nanarimo is happening, so I'm gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be busy for a little bit. I'll, I have one new video coming out uh, for now. And uh, yeah, I might be able to get one more done, depending. Uh, we'll see. Oh, oh god, the ghost. Oh. He's shaking his butt. <laughs> Do you think I keep losing because I pick th that character that I pick? Is that the reason? Maybe. Oh, look! That's oh, perfect. That's so cute! You mean a lot to us. Oh, That's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, how'd you enjoy your, how'd you enjoy it, Mush? Oh, I love this game. It's so cute. I this was honestly better than the first one. It was. They definitely, the first one was probably very experimental, it seems. Yeah. That's how it feels. And this is way more refined. Yeah. Love it. Agree. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful glitch. I love it. Thanks for playing. I should leave a good review. That was <laughs> cute. They really wanted me to. They did. <laughs> and apparently it's my favorite thing to do. Just unlock oh. coffee beats to relax and study to. What is... Where? Uh, the gallery's not available yet. That's yeah. a shame. Uh, it's probably gonna be there, though. Eventually. Okay, I'm gonna close out. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>